All right, guys, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you yet again about foottrading.co.uk. Thank you to everyone that continues to subscribe and support our content. It means the world to us. You guys know we work very hard on the website. You make a lot of coins, but without you guys, we don't have a website. So thank you very much for that. We're working on another big giveaway this month, and hopefully we'll have details of that in the coming days uh, for you guys. But just so you know, £10 a month gets you access to Tier 1 perks, which is buying and selling prices for icons, specials, and silvers. As well as Thursday flips, they bang all the time. A lot of coins you made. And with Tier 2, you get all the Tier 1, plus Chemstyle filters, plus Live filters. And we're adding UCL cards to that as well. PC prices have now been added, and we're continuing to add more PC features in the coming days and weeks. So make sure you check out booktrading.co.uk. You'll make millions as simplistically as anything. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Three uploads a day on this channel. The morning is League SBC Method to Glory. Me teaching you guys how to craft players and packs and basically grind this game without having to use your hard-earned money on it and give yourself basically a competitive team. Alongside that at 5.15, this video is a trading video. It's me teaching you how to trade with cards on this game to make coins and again, build a better ultimate team which allows you to compete with people, again, without spending money on FIFA points. And your midnight content is usually a mixture of picks, packs, um, all that sort of stuff, trading stuff, thoughts on the game, all of that basically. Um, and so make sure you get involved in it. We are going to be doing another giveaway for foottrading.co.uk. Make sure you check out the website. For those of you that are subscribed, next month is our first birthday and we're going to have an absolutely monster giveaway uh, for you guys. So make sure you check it out if you want to make millions on this game. But this video sort of interlinks with something we're launching on the site very, very soon. Um, Dan and I have been talking about the fact that we've taught you guys how to trade with special cards to do with like, Hunters and Shadows and it's an incredibly effective way to trade. But something that I think people miss out on in terms of trading with special cards is that you don't actually just need to trade with them with Hunters and Shadows on them. There are multiple ways to do it. And one of the best things you can do is trading with special cards that are rare. Now, I'm going to explain to you how that works um, and give an analogy and a sort of information in it. Because again, even with the site or the videos, I like to teach you guys how the transfer market works rather than just spoon feeding you players. To me, it's more important to do it that way. So if you think of the FIFA cards we get on this game, the... the the player cards or whatever they are, whatever you want to call them, as a commodity or as an item that you might sell, right? If I've got 20 of the same item and you've got 20 of the same item and someone else has got 20 of the same item, we have to compete with each other to sell our cards or sell these whatever items they are, bottles. Let's, see, let's call them bottles. Those bottles, we've all got the same bottle. Basically, I have to try and undercut these guys and undercut these guys to make sure you buy the bottle from me. Um, and that is basically how it works in, in real life. So let's say, for example, Poundland sells something, Pound World go and sell something. It's sort of a battle between the two of them to sell, I don't know, whatever it is, a bottle, right? Everyone's got them. So the prices stay down on them because there's loads of them. However, if you've got an item that is a lot rarer and there's demand for it, you can obviously sell that for a lot more than, than you sell it for if everyone's got it. So what we're talking about here is, let's say theoretically the new Team of the Week comes out. There's loads of those Team of the Week cards on the game. The price gets compete competitive. People on the card. You can snipe those cards, it's fine. But as the game progresses, those, that team of the week that's come out has a finite supply. There's only a certain amount of them that are released into packs. And basically, what, as time goes on, people put them in their team, people put them into SBCs, or they just sit in people's clubs and they just sit there and no one realises they're there, basically, until later on. And so the supply of these cards dries up. It dries up very, very quickly. And that's when you can buy these cards, these older team of the weeks. You can buy them and flip them on for very, very good profit as you go. Now... On my transfer list, there's two that I've already sold. I'm going to show you me buying them earlier on uh, towards the end of this video and me selling them. But let's talk about how we look for these cards. Now, on the website, we've already got every single one ready to list and to go into the game. We've got every single one of them. But these videos are for those of you either that have the website, so I can give you an example of how you do it, or if you haven't got the website and you want to put the hard work in, um, basically you can go out and do it and put the hard work in yourself. It does take a bit of time to get used to, but really all you need here is footbin, a spreadsheet, pay ratings and what they buy and sell for. So I'm going to show you Footbin now. We're going to go over it. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here we are on Footbin. And this is a brilliant tool. Um, essentially, what the website is there for is to stop you guys having to do all this hard work. It is hard work. Trading and learning the market takes a lot of time. What the website does is it removes the need for you to go out and do it. We find the stuff for you and we teach you how to trade. And as you trade on the website, you start to learn how the market works just by trading using the website. But not everyone can afford it. And sometimes people just don't want to pay for it. You're entitled to that. So I try and teach you how to do it otherwise. So basically what you want to do basically to start this, this method is players and then team of the weeks. Now this actually does work with any 
sort of special card. But Team of the Weeks are more important because Team of the Weeks go into SBCs, they, 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 they get, the supply gets dried up with them. You don't tend to put a rule breaker into an SBC unless it's an untraded one you're not going to use. So really, you're not interested in the most recent Team of the Weeks. You can look at those, but you're really looking for the older Team of the Weeks. Like 16 and onwards for me are the ones that are, I think are relevant. And what you want to do is you want to get onto these cards and you want to just see what they're looking like. So Pareja, for example, someone like a Belhanda, this 82 rated Belhanda here. Again, this is a card that a lot of people are just going to stuck in an SBC, but this is an 82 rated inform that is 25,000 coins. Now, a lot of 82 rated informs when they're freshly released don't get above 15 to 20,000 unless there's real demand for them. He sits at 25,000. So someone like a Belhanda is great. He's really, really good for that. Uh, Danilo, again, another one that's very good for that. This guy is a... 82 rated right back that's currently sat at 49,000 coins. He's zero on PlayStation, which makes me believe he's probably extinct. Um, but again, 49,000 coins on this Danilo. These are the sort of cards you want to be looking at. And bit by bit, you can build it up. 81 rated Aldero. This guy, a random goalkeeper, 81 rated. Again, he's an 81 rated inform. 81 rated inform is a discard value. He's at 25,000 coins. So you can start to build yourself a list of these players. And if you're good at spreadsheets, you can put goalkeepers, you can put rating, you can do it by whatever you want to do it able to then search that spreadsheet for the card and know what you're looking at. And then once you've got the, card, the idea of the cards are, the cards on what you want to do, you can look at their market sales history. So Yunus Belhanda, for example, this card here, you can start to see if he actually does sell. And as you can see on the 20th today at 4.52, he's sold for 23,500. At 101, he sold for 24,750. He sold on February 19th for 24,750. So you know this card does sell. Over the course of the last 48 hours, five of them have gone. And again, this card's going to be relatively rare on the market, so it makes sense. A lot of these are going to be relistings. These 25,000 repeatedly, they're going to be relistings. People just continually relisting these cards. Now, this method's very, very good. If you haven't got time to be on the game, you can go and buy these cards, leave them in your transfer pile on 12-hour listings, and just leave them there, and let them sell and come back to it. If you're not the sort of person that wants to trade 24-7, this is ideal for you. Or if you're on the go, you list them up while you're out, stick yourself in the web app, relist your cards every, every hour, eventually they will go. They take time sometimes to sell. If we look at Danilo, right, if we look at market sales history for Danilo. Go and check what he's done. One sold today at 1052, a couple of hours ago, for 46,000 coins. Another one sold for 32, 32, 44, 40,000. So you start to get an idea of the maximum these cards sell for and what you can get in terms of value. Again, Ordero, we'll see if any of these have sold. And again, these are selling 20,000, 21,000, 21,250. One sold for 28,500. Now, if you're patient, you have to be patient with this. You can pick these cards up very, very cheaply. But if you know he sold for 28.5, there's an opportunity there for you to look on the game and go, actually, can I pick these cards up? So we'll have a little look at these cards. There probably isn't any on the transfer market right now. We'll have a little look on the game and we'll see if any of these are there. Let's go play. Let's go, not play, let's go transfers. Let's go to transfer market. We'll have a little look. Um, so we'll go to Nilo, for example. We'll start with him. And it works. Even if they've got a team of the week above it, it's the same price, this still works. So let's have a little look and see if he's got any on the transfer market that are decent. Let's go to that and see what he's got. So there's a 46 there. So if I look at if we look at um, Danilo again, if we look at his sales history, we know one sold at 46, 5, uh, 250. We know one sold at 44. We know one sold at 50, 54. There's been one yesterday at 8.24 p.m. One sold at 54,000 coins. So if I really wanted to, you could potentially pick up this 46 and this 46. And this 46 actually got a shadow on them, so it fits sort of two types of criteria. You could potentially go and sell these cards, pick these up and sell them for 54 if you wanted to relist a lot. You could potentially do that. Would I advise buying at 46 when the average price seems to be about 48 sell maximum? No, not really. And then we'll have a look at Belhanda. We'll see what he's looking like. Um, if we get Eunice Belhanda. We'll see if there's any deals there. So there's 82. There's a 20,000 there. Let's just quickly go 25, 250 and see what that is. So I'm going to buy this Belhanda. This is a good deal without a doubt. So the cheapest bell hand on the market at the moment is about 25,000 coins. Now we know one of these has sold for 24,750. So if I back out quickly, we'll have a little look again at transfer market and see what he's selling for. You'll see those cards in a minute, just for reference me picking them up and selling them. You'll see those in a second. So the cheapest bell hand at the moment is 25,500. So that bell hand that I've just picked up, I'll probably list him for what, what I know he sold for, which we know he sold at some point for 24,750. So I'll probably go a little bit lower than that just to try and get a sale on him relatively easily. But for him, we'll go at 24,500. He should, he should sell within the day, within the day easily. And we'll list that Belhanda up relatively easily. He goes. And the final one we'll look at is Aldero. We'll see if there's any of him on the transfer market. I'll just get an idea of it. So we'll go with Aldero. And now website subscribers, you've already gonna have well, you're already gonna have a whole list of these cards ready to go. So you're not gonna have to worry about this. We'll save you the time. 
um, but that's something you can go with. Now, again, this Ordero, the other thing you can do to, as well is to flip your filters around and see if there's any on bids, because I wanna, I'm gonna show you a ridiculous bid in a minute uh, for a card and you'll see that. So Ordero's not on bid, but we found Belhanda, we're gonna list him up and he will sell eventually. Now, what I'm gonna show you right, right now is some card selling and basically show you all the cards as I picked them up and as I've sold them. Um, and then I'll just sort of go into detail about why bids are important here as well. So I'm gonna move on now to show you the cards that I picked up there um, and them selling, I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is your first example, this Ludovic Ayorke. Now he's got an 84 rated card. Um, it's about 30,000 coins on the market. Right now the cheapest is a 27,500. I've just picked this card up now for 22,500. Now I'm gonna list him up now, 27,500. We'll match that price of the one that's on the market. Um, and we'll see if he sells. He will sell eventually. Sometimes these cards take more than one relisting, but I want to show you some of this in action so you guys can see it. So that's the first pickup is Ludovic Ayorke. I will be right back. And again, I do just want to show you this. Um, again, this is where we talk about market sales history. Now, if you look at Ayorke, we've seen one sell at midnight last night for 29,000, one sell at 10 a.m. for 30,000. Um, we've got a lot here that's off for 29, 30,000 throughout the day yesterday. So again, it gives me some confidence when I buy that card that I know it's going to sell. Now, again, we do all this stuff on the website for you. We make sure the cards on there do sell. Um, but that's how you go about looking as to whether that's a good buy or not. And the thing about doing this method is you don't really tend to need to snipe that often. Um, so you can usually have time to go and check, make sure it's selling, and then go from there. All right, guys, so another example is this Yusuf El Arabi. Now, he doesn't actually have that great a sales history, but as I've traded with random informs before, and I do the chem style trading, he does sell. Uh, I listed one a few days ago and he sold. Um, and this is Yusuf El Arabi's 84 card, and he also has a hunter on him here. Now, the cheapest one on the market at the moment is 30,000 coins, which is where I roughly sold him last time. But again, he's another very rare 84 rated card. And so I'm gonna list him up for 35 um, with the hunt on him. Actually, we'll list him 36 with the hunt on him. And we'll see how he goes. Um, I reckon he'll sell. There's no problem with that, in my opinion. These are sort of the more risky ones, but there's so few of him on the market. Anyone that wants to randomly link him to, I don't know, ZH, or again, for an SBC and just pick him up and he's cheap, they may pick him up with that. But the hunter gives me more value. Uh, there is a 30,000 coin one there I'm tempted to buy, but we'll go with this one first and we'll see if this one sells. All right, the final example I'm going to give you is this Joachim Merler. Um, again, there's another one that's cheap on the market with him as well. Uh, there's a 24.5 there, but looking at his market sales too, so he's actually sold in the last 24 hours. There's one that sold for 26,000. I'll show you this actually so you can see it. Um, the desktop. So since well, the 19th of February, which is yesterday, he's had a sale at 24.5. He's had a sale at 21.750. And there was a sale here at 29,750 and a sale at 26. Um, 28 there, 25, 10. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and I think, do I wanna buy this one as well? There's a 24 here. Let me get, put you back onto the right screen. I'm tempted to buy the one for 24,500 um, as well, but I'm not gonna. But this Joachim Merler here, we compare price on him. I've just picked him up, not picked him up, compare price on him, for 20,000 coins. And I'm gonna go ahead and list him up for 24,000. Um, again, I could probably push it more if, if it wasn't for the fact this video is time restrained. Restraint, I could probably pick that one up and a 24. We list them a fair few times for 25, 26,000, 28,000 up to. We know he sells at 28,000, we can see that. Um, but I am just gonna stick with this one for now and, and let this one sell. And then basically from there, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now the whole point of this method is that if you haven't got time, it's relatively easy. You go on for one day, pick up loads of these cars and leave them there. And then all you've got to do is log into web app and just keep relisting them. They're going to hold this value because they're rare, so you might as well just keep relisting them, eventually they'll sell. And with that in mind, when we talk about selling, literally a minute or so after I bought that UK, I didn't realise but he has sold for 27500 That's how easy this method is, because a lot of people are just lazy, they're going to buy these cards. A UK is gone, we've still got the two other informed set listed, the LRB and the Merla. We'll see how they go, I'll be right back. Alright guys, and here is LRB sold to 36,000 coins, relatively easy sale on him. Um, I didn't think it'd take too long to get him sold. Merler still hasn't gone yet, but I'm not too stressed about that. We've relisted him. Eventually, he will go. And again, what I can do with Merler is just have a little look and see if maybe someone's undercut me so I know roughly where it's at the moment. Um, what is this? Joachim. It's a Joachim Merler. It's hard to search on this. Joachim Merler. Let's see if there's any more of these on the transfer market. So someone's undercut me there on a 15K, and I'm going to buy that 19K because I know it will sell. Again, I know these do sell. I've seen them sell. We know from the market history on them that these cards have sold. So again, I'll list this one up. And this one, it will eventually go. Bit by bit by bit, they will, they will eventually go. Um, but El Arabi sold, and I want to show you that. That El Arabi just sold for 36,000 coins. That one that I put on the transfer market earlier on, on my transfer targets, I forgot about. And it went for 17,750. Now, most 80, 84 rated in general don't sell for that. They, they, they sell for way more than that anyway. Just a general price for 84 rated informs is, is more than that. Um, 
but that's why it's important. It's very important you keep an eye on bids because people will look at 84 raters that are currently on the game and bid on those, but a lot of these guys sneak under the radar and you can pick them up on very, very good deals. But you can see straight away, this method works. It's a brilliant way to trade with these cards. We've got two of them sold. And like I say, it's a really good method for those of you that don't have much time on the game, that want to go and have a little look. It takes maybe a day to get your, your list sorted out and then you can go from there. Just update it with sell prices and whatever. Again, if you're a website subscriber, we do it for you. So don't worry about it. Um, but it is a levels way to trade. And that's another way, another new way to special card trade. It's an absolutely brilliant method because it's so like so under um, invested in and there's so many cards you can work with so many cards you've got every single team of the week from now i think we're at team of the team of the week 21 i think i think we're team let's have a little look i mean team of the weeks we're at we're at team of the week 21 now so each team of the week has what is it 20 odd players in it maybe more so it's 11 start 11 22 players or something like that i can't remember i can't really add up a moment we've got one two three four five six seven five 22 players in it so there, there's a lot of players you can play about with just team of the week so you can look at and go actually these are good deals and you start to get the hang of it and start to look at the cards and go these cards are good value these cards will sell for something i can make profit from these cards and over time it becomes easier and easier you start to realize the ones that are better sellers the ones that are like major nations tend to do better because they're easier for fbc solutions but that's how you trade with rare art team of the weeks as always if you're new around here make sure you subscribe down below make sure you turn your notifications on so you never miss an upload but for now i am out peace out i'll speak to you soon